Hey there friends, welcome to the vid. Have you ever had thoughts like, I'll never be myself again, or I'll never be able to get rid of this, or I'll never be normal again? I know I did when I was going through my recovery. In fact, a lot of other people have these thoughts as well, that is until they recover. Do you know what happens when you have these type of thoughts like, I'll never be able to recover? When you say that, your brain hears, I'll never be able to recover. It believes you. And so you're putting the brakes on your own recovery. The reason you apply the brakes is because after you've thought it, where do you go from there? Think about it. I'll never be able to recover again. Okay, now what? Now what do you do? You've already made the decision. You've just shut all the other doors of possibility. And of all the millions of things that you could think, why are you going to the absolute worst one? I'll tell you why. It's because right now you're experiencing everything bad at full blast. Maybe you're in the worst of it right now. Maybe you don't see a way out. Maybe you've tried things and they haven't worked before. Maybe you don't even know what to do to recover. That's why you're catastrophizing and jumping to the worst possible conclusion. Because even though that might not be true, because you're telling yourself that, you're making it true. So what should you do instead of thinking these very unhelpful thoughts and actually give yourself the best chance of success of getting out of this? Here's a great and practical thing that you can do right now when these thoughts pop in. When they do pop in, you can challenge the thought. Who said that that was true? Who said that that's the rule? And a little hint here, you did that, whether you intentionally wanted to or not. Is there a valid reason for you to think that these thoughts are true? And the answer is no, there isn't. What you can do is you can challenge them and just put these thoughts down to anxiety because that's all they are. And when you do this, when you go through this process of challenging them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna teach your mind that in fact, these thoughts aren't true. They're nothing to be believed. They're completely untrue. You don't have to worry about them. You don't have to spend any more energy on them. And then eventually with practice, over time, these thoughts aren't gonna pop into your mind. And if they do, much more infrequently, if they do, then you're gonna know exactly what to do. And this is gonna have an amazing effect on your recovery because all those doors that you were closing by saying, I'm never gonna be able to recover, I'm never gonna be able to get back to normal, all those doors open again. You know, all the possibilities open again and you're gonna to start to see them and that is gonna work wonders for your recovery. So you do have to take a little bit of responsibility for your thoughts. You can't help it when they do pop in. Thoughts do just pop in your mind, but you can help what you do after they pop in and that's where you challenge them. I know that at the beginning of recovery, when you are learning new skills and new habits, it can seem a little bit challenging. And so that's why I've created the Freedom Course. It's a step-by-step, day-by-day guide of exactly what you need to do to start recovering from day one. And it teaches you so many skills and the only skills you're gonna to need to recover from anxiety and DPDR. So go and check that out. I'd love to see you in there. And the link to that is in a pinned comment and the description. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.